G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're going to be having a look at some types of riddles that come out, three of them, and these are ones that involve relationships here. They've usually got a bit of a tongue twister element applied to them, and hopefully by the end of this video, you're gonna be really good at answering these types of riddles for the different ones that come up. So, these are the three examples we're going to have a look at. If Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, what am I to Teresa? The second one, I'm your mother's brother's only brother-in-law, who am I? And this third riddle, brothers and sisters, I have none, but this man's father is my father's son. And who is the guy talking about? So we're going to go through these in order from probably the easiest to the hardest ones. And hopefully you're going to see a system within this about how you can go through and solve these. So let's get to the first one. Okay, to our first riddle. And this one is probably the easiest out of all of them. I'm your mother's brother's only brother-in-law. Who am I? So pause this video and give it a try. And when you're ready to see how to solve it, come back and start watching again. So time's up, how did you go? Hopefully you went okay. And maybe you'll start seeing a bit of a system on how to solve these. The way that I go about doing these particular questions is as follows. I'm going to break this down into little parts. So first off, I am your mother's brother. Let's write that down, who that actually is. So we have you, and from there, we have your mother. And more specifically, we have your mother's brother. Okay, cool. So we've worked out this is the person who this very first section is talking about. And we're looking for their only brother-in-law. So the brother-in-law of your mother's brother, well, she only has one brother-in-law. Well, which way can that go if you really think about it? It's not going to be his wife her brother he only has one brother-in-law in fact it has to be the person who is married to your mother in fact it will have to be your father so who am i if i'm your mother's brother's only brother-in-law that means i am your father so that's how you go about solving these ones once you've got this bit of information sort of nailed down as you'll see they're fairly easy so what about we have a look at another one of these Okay, riddle number two. And this one I remember as a kid. I used to find this one pretty hard. It used to confuse me a fair bit. A man is looking at a picture of a man on the wall and states, Brothers and sisters, I have none, but this man's father is my father's son. Who is the man in the picture in relation to the man looking at the picture? So we're going to be looking specifically at this piece of information here. So once again, pause this video if you'd like to give this problem a chance. And when you're ready to see how to solve it, Come back again. So time's up, how did you go? The trick to doing this particular problem is in the very last phrase here, my father's son. We're going to start out by just thinking about that one. So say I was thinking about me and my father, and from there I was thinking about who my father's son is. Well, my father's son, that's going to be me. Because brothers and sisters, I have none. It can't be one of my brothers. It has to be me because I don't have any brothers. So brothers and sisters, I have none. But this man's father is my father's son. Could be rewritten, if I know this now as being me, as this man's father is me. Brothers and sisters, I have none. But this man's father is me. This man's father is me. Who am I talking about? Well, if you really think about that logically, if I'm saying this man's father is me, who am I the father of? Well, I'm the father of my son. So this is talking about my son. Or in relation to this guy here, he is looking at a picture of his son. So you're probably noticing a bit of a pattern here. So let's see how you go on the third riddle. So this is the third and final riddle we are going to be having a look at. And I've left it to last because it's one that happens to be making its way around the internet as we speak. And this is the riddle. If Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, what am I to Teresa? I'm A, her grandmother, B, her mother, C, her daughter, D, her granddaughter, or E, I am Teresa. So pause the video once again, and if you'd like to see how to solve it, start up again. So time's up. How did you go? Did you manage it? Well, I'm going to show you how to solve this right now. So I'll reread this. If Teresa's daughter is my daughter's mother, what am I to Teresa? I'm A, her grandmother, B, 
B, her mother, C, her daughter, D, her granddaughter, or E, I am Teresa. So once again, what I'm going to be doing here is I am going to make it about me. Now, obviously, this is a female gendered question. So in this, I probably should put on a female voice, but I won't. So let's do this. So first off, <laughs> let's make it about this part here. My daughter's mother. Now, if I was to think about this, and I've got me, and I have my daughter, and I am of the female gender, my daughter's mother would, in fact, be me, okay? So we could reword this particular question and actually cross out this part here and just say me, because that's who it's talking about. So if Teresa's daughter is me, what am I to Teresa? This is nice and easy now, right? That means I am her daughter. Okay, so... A nice, easy question once you get rid of those particular parts there. So anyway, how did you end up going with those? Did you end up getting those right? If you enjoyed solving these riddles, please share this video and put in the comments below how you went. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.